Hey y'all, so it is Saturday, March 31st. I can't believe it's the last day of March already. That's so crazy, but um, tomorrow is Easter and I'm gonna go to Easter Sunday. Sorry, the lighting is not good. Is it there? There's like shadows everywhere. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow's Easter Sunday. We're gonna go to church and then probably go eat and do some other stuff because it's my daddy's last day of vacation too so which is sad because we're gonna miss him a lot but I guess we gotta go back to normal now so um but I just wanted to kind of start vlogging today because I didn't vlog yesterday or the day before that Ooh, you can kind of see my highlight I can never see my highlight <laughs> um sorry but um yeah so I went to the doctor yesterday. Surprise, surprise, Lindsay went to the doctor. That's where I always am. And it looks like um, I'm gonna kind of explore my Crohn's disease a little bit more, see how severe it really, really is. Um, Cause I'm not getting better and I feel awful. And at the moment, I'm not even gonna go back to college next semester. And I swear on my life, I'm going back I am going back, but I'm not going back until I'm better. I'm not going to withdraw from classes and have that on my transcript because it's not good to have that, and I'm not going back until I know I can go. Right now, I can hardly even go to a doctor's appointment for an hour without feeling just extraordinarily ill and sick. So I'm not wanting, not thinking I need to go back to school yet. And my parents are very, very supportive and telling me that I need to go back when I'm healthy and when I feel like I can go back because it's just going to be a waste of money, a waste of time if I'm not well enough to go back and if I'm just going to be in the hospital every single month. So, um, yeah, but I haven't eaten in days. I'm starving, but I'm in so much pain. We're trying to get my pain medicine adjusted. I did my dose of Humira yesterday and now I'm really tired and my joints are killing me. My it, That's like part of the... Um, Crohn's disease and part of the effects of Humira, your joints are just on fire and they hurt all the time. So, um, yeah, I've just not been having a good few days, but I felt good enough today to actually get up and put some makeup on. My hair is obviously wet. I took a shower. Um, but yeah, I finished Chamber of Secrets and I actually made a clip last night of me talking about Chamber of Secrets and just Harry Potter in general and I talk about my mental health. So I'm going to insert that clip right after this one. But, um... I hate doing these clips out of order. This is the second time in a row that I've done that, but like, I don't know. I just keep doing that. But um, yeah, today I want to vlog. We're going out and I'm going to try to vlog while I'm out. I always forget though. I don't know why, just because I'm not used to it. I always vlog at home um, because I always am home. I think my lipstick is like kind of messed up. I probably need to go fix it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... That's all I really have to say right now. And, oh, I'm going to read Prisoner of Azkaban today. I'm on a Harry Potter kick. I'm really wanting to read Harry Potter, but I also need to read a ton of other books. But it looks like I'm going to have even more time to read, considering I've basically decided that I'm not going back to school next semester. Um, yeah. Which I'm incredibly sad about. I don't think y'all understand, like, I'm going to try to help y'all understand how sad I am about the school thing. I have worked my ass off in middle school, ele even elementary school. About third grade, I started realizing how desperately I wanted to go to college. So even as a third grader, I was working towards college. Every night that I stayed up studying something or every night that I, or, you know, every test that I took, I felt like it was going towards my future in college. So I was so college oriented. I didn't date in high school. I didn't date in middle school. I didn't date any time because I was so focused on school. I didn't want any distractions. I didn't want any of it. I was so, that's the only thing I've ever wanted in my life is to go to a good college and get my career. I want to double major in English and psychology with a modern history and I want to go to grad school. This is all I've ever, ever wanted in my life and at the moment something is getting in the way of that and it's a big something and it's killing me. I cried yesterday, I cried the day before, because I just don't think I'm gonna be ready. I'm just, I'm just not, but it's 
it's just one of those things where I have people tell me, oh, you're probably not going to go back. When people defer a year or two, they generally don't go back, but I'm going back. I have never been so sure of something in my life. School has never been a burden for me. It is something that I thoroughly enjoy. One of my favorite things to do is study, and I know that is so weird, but learning is just something that I, I, I crave knowledge. Like, it's, it's something that I genuinely enjoy. When my parents, when I would get in trouble when I was a little girl, my parents wouldn't ground me from my phone. They wouldn't ground me from going out with my friends. They ground me from my books. They take away my school books, and they take away my laptop so I couldn't study. That's what they do when I was in trouble because that's what, that's where it hits hard is when they take away my school stuff because that's all I do. And that is such a nerdy thing and I know it's weird, but I just, I love doing it. It helps my anxiety. It helps me focus on something that's not just my brain. You know, I, I can think about things. I'm not trapped in my thoughts. School is just very, very near and dear to my heart, academics is. So I, abs I absolutely am dying that I can't go back right now. And I want to be there so badly. There's not anything I want more in this world than to go and get my education. But I can't right now, so I'm going to cry again if I'm not careful. So, whew, um, but I'll go back soon. It'll be soon. But I got to get better first. My health is my number one priority at the moment. So I got to do it. But I will update y'all later. And yeah. Hey, y'all. So it's just a little while later. I just started reading A Chamber of Secrets. And okay, so I just wanted to talk about Harry Potter for a second because I just wish. So I don't know if I've ever really gotten into this on my channel, but. When I was a freshman in high school, I went through this awful period in my life where I was in just a deep, deep, deep depression. I've had severe anxiety since I was six, and I'll like make a whole video on my mental health story sometime why I have all these problems. Um, but right now, I'll just give you like a brief summary. <laughs> so I've had severe anxiety since I was six, and I've had severe PTSD since I was six just from a trauma that's happened. <laughs> Um, and then when I was 15, I all of a sudden just became, actually, I was 14. I was 14. I became very depressed and depressed in the sense, like, I think people think that depression is where you cry a lot and that's like part of depression. Like that's like the first beginning stages of depression, but real, real true depression is when you absolutely don't care about a thing in the world. You have no feelings about anything. It's kind of like you just shut all the lights off. All I did for six months was sleep in my bedroom and with no TV, no lots, and I would just sleep in there. And I stopped doing everything that I loved. I stopped singing. I stopped reading. I stopped painting my nails. I stopped doing my hair. I stopped doing my makeup. I stopped doing anything that I enjoyed. I didn't see my friends. I even took a semester out of school for health problems because my anxiety was causing me physical issues. And then I wasn't seeing my friends as much. Um... What really snapped me is that my freshman year in high school, um, I was gonna supposed to be in honors courses because I'd earned being in honors courses, but because of how bad my attendance was because of health problems, and now what I know was Crohn's disease, um, they would not put me in the honors courses even though the classes they put me in were way too easy for me. and. I belonged in the honors courses because I had earned the test scores to be in them, um, but my counselor, who was not a very nice woman, decided that I was not allowed to be in the honors classes, and I got put in classes that I just, I did not need to be in. They didn't challenge me. I was bored, and it kind of broke me. It was kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back, and when that happened, I was done. So I got out of school, and I did some online stuff that semester and I was just severely 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 depressed I didn't care if I got hit by a bus I didn't care if a tornado came through and swept away my house I didn't care if I didn't care about anything I did not care it was just like every ounce of emotion that I had in me it was just drained out of me so that's something that I went through for six very long months and I wish more than anything that I would have had this series during that time because I cannot tell y'all I have almost several times gone back into that very very deep dark hole because depression unfortunately once you have it it does not go away 
you kind of, you have good days, you have bad days, and then there's times where you, the bad days are all the time. And these past few months with me being off of school for a whole year and dealing with all of my health problems, I have wanted to very much go back into that dark hole. When I first started reading Harry Potter in November, I was very close to just going back to my full-blown depression. I read this. It helped me immensely. I got into the booktube world, and all of these books has just tremendously helped my mental state. And then, I, these past few days, I have done nothing but sleep. And it is not because I'm tired. It's not because I'm super sick. It is because I just wanted to sleep. I haven't wanted to deal with my life. I haven't wanted to deal with the world. So I've locked myself in my bedroom and I have gone to sleep. And that's what I've done. I literally the past two weeks have done nothing but sleep. That's why I've been gone. And I try to make other excuses for it other than the fact that I just don't care. And so that's why I wanted to pick up Harry Potter again because I knew it would help me because it helped me so much the first time and it has. I needed to reread this series because, and I feel like this is going to be my safety net whenever I start to go through that depression. I feel like I'm going to always pick up a Harry Potter book just to make me feel better, to help me get out of it. I already feel mentally so much better. And this this, this series is just so amazing. And I'm not trying to overhype it. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just saying what it means to me and what it has done for me and my mental state. It's just a beautiful series it just shows you that you have so much to live for the things that Harry goes through and the things that Albus Dumbledore says to him that's why I love Albus so much some of the things he said in these books have just helped me so much in my real life so I I absolutely adore this series and I am so happy I picked it up I'm happy now I feel good I feel like I can do anything I'm ready to step outside my house and go out into the world again it's I mean I tried for weeks to help myself, like get my nails done, get my hair done, get my eyebrows done, and none of that was really helping me. If anything, it just made me feel like just the same or, you know, not really helping me much. But the series, I love it so much. So that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to give major props to the series and how much I genuinely adore it. And I just read the chapter where Dobby gets introduced. I absolutely love Dobby. When I first read this, Dobby was like annoying to me because I was like, what is he doing? And if you guys have read this, you know what I'm talking about. But now I just, I love, 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 love Dobby. He is like my, one of my favorite Harry Potter characters. So love him. But Mama is reading. She's very into what she's doing. She's listening and following along. But um, yeah, and then my dog is asleep. <laughs> And if you hear background noise, my brother is stimming. And if you don't know, stimming is something that autistic people do. It's where they kind of just talk to themselves. My brother um, watches movies and then he like reenacts them. So that's what he's doing. And my mom is laughing. Also do the same thing with video games. Yeah, so that's what he's doing if you hear background noise. so. But I don't hear it, but I, I feel like if I don't explain what it is, y'all will be like, what the hell is that? So <laughs> I'll just explain it. But So I will see y'all later. Wow, I need some sun. But, damn, I'm white as fuck, unless there's a shadow, and my lipstick's fucked up. Jack, can you help me? I'm a hot mess today. He don't care. He don't care. <laughs> show it. <laughs> if you can read the shirt, I was forced to be put to put my books my book down and in and, and re-enter society. Uh, Don't. Re society. I am recording this.
What did I say? I, I know what you were going to say. I almost bought this the other day. Is this her wand or her? Yeah. No, don't take it. Oh my God. She can put it back in the box. I want to see it. No, 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 no. no, she didn't. Yep, it was paper in the water. It's yep. not in the water. Yep, yep, yep. Don't tear the box up. It's yep. a collector's yep. item. I'm not. I don't care. Right. I'm never selling this. Uh, the tip must light up when you yeah, put a battery in it. Experiment on this. <laughs> 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 We'll find it in a minute. I don't think it landed in the water. It's right here. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you cut me these? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I'm Gryffindor. You're Gryffindor? I've already taken several quizzes. <laughs> Just the bookmark set is what that is. Oh. And this is a pen A bookmark and, bookmark. and a pen. Um, uh, a stumble. Yes, number four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What the? Chamber of Secrets and Prisoner of Azkaban. Yep. Illustrated books. Yep. Did you what? know? No. <laughs> I was going to buy these the other day. These are $50 a piece. No, those are $24 a piece. Oh. I got them on Amazon. Oh. Uh, so pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> My mama got me for Easter. She got me this shirt that says, if you can read this shirt, I was forced to put my books down and re-enter society, which is perfect. Literally just scratch me. And then she got me these really, really cute, um, they're the Hogwarts houses, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, Gryffindor, and Ravenclaw. And it's their symbols and they're just so cool. So I'm going to put them on my bookshelf, um, somewhere up here. And then she got me Harmani's wand because Harmani is my favorite and I relate to her a ton. So this is her wand. I've already taken it out and messed with it, but it's so cute. I know it's supposed to be a collector's item, but I mean, I'm never going to sell this. So, And then I got um, this Dumbledore bookmark and then Dumbledore's wand, but it's a pin. So it's like it just comes out like that and it's a pin. Um, so cool. And then she got me, my big, big gifts are the illustrated Harry Potter books. So she got me Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban illustrated book and then Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets. So I get to put these on my shelves. They're so beautiful. Absolutely love them. So thank you, Mom and Daddy. I really, really appreciate it. These are so gorgeous. Tell I love books. I'm such a nerd. Professor Sirius Snape. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cool. I just had to show y'all. And I'm about ready to start Prisoner of Azkaban. We just got home, so yeah. But thank y'all. Okay, let's get the evilness out of Jack. Are you ready, Jack? Uh, we'll just do Luz. 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 Benicia. <laughs> working? He's not growling, so. I'm not Indiana Jones. I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> oh, it's not it's working. It's supposed to be Hermione. <laughs> Hermione. Here, oh, I need to talk like this then. I need to talk like this and be extra bossy. <laughs> You're already and bossy. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're still growling. It's not working. You're supposed to be taking the evil out. Take evil away. You need to vanquish him. Here, let's see what happens when we touch the paws. <gasps> You see it, Mama? <laughs> Look how bad him he is. Oh, oh, not bad me. Ah. Oh, got the snot. That's so nasty. I'm not scared. <laughs> Don't bite the what? Okay, we need to cut because it's going to run. Say it. Say it. Go. Say it, say the oh my gosh, man. Oh my gosh. Say it.
Damn! 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 Oh yeah! So gross if you spiked your booty. <laughs> Thanks, Logan. No, no, I mean it'll be gross because my it's supposed this song's supposed to be this video's supposed to be PG, so I'm just trying to keep PG, so don't spank your butt. <laughs> you know what? I'm stopping this. <laughs> my god! It's peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. Way yeah, way yeah, way yeah, way yeah. read today but oh shit books just about all fell <laughs> I have prisoner of Azkaban here and I am going to read this tonight before bed but I am going to go to bed early tonight so I can wake up and go to church tomorrow for Easter but dang at the end of the day I started having really really awful just an awful time I'm just so tired and I don't feel good and my joints are hurting my um feet are swollen and very 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 painful that's why in that clip with the Easter stuff I was soaking my feet in water because it was hot water with Epsom salt in it and I'm actively breaking out really bad because of my female issues um Jackie Joe, where are you going? Where are you going? You take me up? No, no, stay with Sissy No, Jackie Joe. <clears throat> he just opened the door like because it was cracked I didn't even realize it was <laughs> I didn't realize it was open <laughs> that freaked me out um so, yeah, sorry this vlog was kind of boring, but, yeah, I just didn't read much today. <sighs> oh, and it's the last day of March. I read a total of six books this month, which is, like, <laughs> crazy, because the past few months I have read, like, so many books. Like, I think the least I've read this month was last month, and it was 14 books. So, I think because I've read so much the past few months, I was in a reading slump, but I intend on reading more books in April, so... Hey, vlogging. Sorry. You want to talk to them? Here, let me turn. Ugh. Hello. Just talking to them about today and how I have not read very much this month. No, I think I've read more than you. You have. I've just been in a slump and I haven't felt good, so. No, she hasn't. I felt really bad this month. What all have I read this month? Um... I've read uh, Turtles All the Way Down. Mm -hmm. I'm reading Upside Side of the, the Underquitted. I've you read, read uh, um, all the three Shatter, four yeah. Shatter Me books. Yes. You read. What I read? Uh, you read Nevermore. Nevermore. Six. You read the other middle grade book, the magic book that yeah. dragons. Color of that color of magic. Yeah. I've read um, Joyce Myers two Joyce Myers books. That's none. Is um, that it? Let me go grab my phone. You finish. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna talk. Right so, um, yeah, I just want to read more next month for sure. And um, oh, and by the way, we opened our Easter presents tonight because we just didn't want to wake up early tomorrow, and you know, we just did. And our parents are so sweet for still buying me Easter gifts. I'm 20 years old, so it's like embarrassing, but. <laughs> still so sweet that they do. I loved all the stuff that I got. Um, and I think this morning I talked about not going back to school this um, next semester. That's not a final, final decision, but I'm almost 98% sure I'm not going back to school next semester. Like, I've pretty much already made up my mind, but if something miraculous happens, we'll see, okay. but I doubt it. Sorry, Jack had to go to the bathroom. Really it's bad. okay. Um...
She's seeing what other books she's read. The Cure of Stress. You read that one? Yes, but it's Toys Mars. The are I don't those, have my glasses on. Are those sorry. the two ones you read? Yes. Can you read what I counted says? those. Oh, okay. I'm just telling uh, the, the title. The Confident Woman. Confident Woman. Go the other way. And then The Cure for Stress. Yes, go the other way. Go the other way. Oh, shit. Sorry. Never mind. I've one. counted yeah. that one. Um, so. Oh, ow, I just freaking. I think that's freaking all. So you read nine books? Yeah. And I've got Harry Potter started. Um, She's uh, reading Upside, Upside of the Unrequited. unrequited or Harry it's quadded. It's unrequited. Unrequited. And I'm reading Harry Potter. Yeah. So I've done good this month. You have done very good this month. I'm very proud of myself. I'm proud of you too. But I like listening to them while I'm doing housework. And I've been walking a lot here lately. And I also listen to them while I'm walking. And I'm also re listening to the One Year Bible. So that's three that I've got going right now. Yeah. So... And we're going to start a Bible study tomorrow yeah. or Monday. I can't remember. Monday. Monday. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's what we've done. And I'm going to do a wrap up probably soon, hopefully. Hopefully I can film it better than what I've been filming my wrap ups. But it's honestly just whatever I feel like doing. But um, yeah, I have a... I uh, know. He I'm needs gonna, a treat. I'm going to head out because he's begging for a treat. <laughs> well, I'm done. So, so right. um... We'll see y'all later. later. Bye. Bye.